Your skin is your biggest organ on your body. So anything you put on your body, including mm -hmm. your scalp, is going to it's going to get into your system in some way. You know, it's a topical right. application at that point, right? right? So build up over time, you know, it can cause issues, especially if you're somebody that doesn't want to wash your hair that often. You should definitely be washing your hair at least mm. once a week, guys. Yeah, at please. least once a week, not Everybody every day. Everybody around you will thank you. Yo, long hairs. Welcome to another episode of The Main Cave. I am your host, El Sicario, and I am joined once again by my friend and personal barber, Shelby Shears from the Lion's Mane Grooming Co. San Diego's premier barbershop experience. How you doing? Great. Yeah, welcome back. Caffeinated. It's been like a thousand years <laughs> since you were here. Right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so last time we covered some of our ancillary hair care products you know, what do they do? What are they, you know, um, how you should use them, how often you should use them. And so I figured, uh, why don't we do it again? But this time we'll cover a couple other, uh, products that we offer and, uh, you know, capitalize on the fact that we know a real life master barber, <laughs> get her expert feedback. Um, so today I want to talk about hair serum and dry shampoo, but, uh, why don't we talk about hair serum first? Okay. So, um, I have been using hair serum for, I want to say two years now. Mm -hmm. um, and what I was taught about hair serum is it's a great way to help uh, prevent split ends. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've just usually, um, I mean, I've, of course, as I'm using it, you know, I start at the ends and then I kind of work my way up a little bit, but I try not to be so happy to hear that. Yeah, really? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so validating. I'm doing it right. He's doing it right. <laughs> um, so one thing I, I try to avoid is um, getting it all the way into my scalp. Mm hmm. Um, but that's good. Am I doing it right? Yes. Okay. So because you're already producing sebum or oil at your scalp, right? So you don't want to, you don't want to put it at your scalp because otherwise then you're going to be too greasy you're and like then you're going to, then you're going to have to go in with the dry shampoo mm. or you're going to have to rewash it. And then you're going to have to clarify it. And then you're going to have to clarify it. And we you, got you covered in case. Yeah. You yeah you're totally covered, but it's also, do you have the time? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. In the so, so for for anyone that's watching that just uh, has never used a hair serum or doesn't even know what hair serum is, um, so obviously I know I just explained my routine, but like from your expert advice, like what would you tell a client if they were thinking about hair serum? Um, I would tell them that to still use a leave-in, and then follow up with the, the hair oil. Okay. So yeah. so leave-in conditioner first, then mm -hmm. throw the hair serum in after. Yeah. Okay. So what so what that does essentially is you're coating the hair with your leave-in conditioner you're filling in the potholes that okay. are inside the hair so think right. about it, like the porosity of hair mm -hmm. so there's little potholes mm -hmm. you need to imagine that sure um we don't like potholes so no. but potholes usually collect like you know that's where things build up so if you just go in straight with the oil you know if you do have porosity issues and usually guys with long hair do have porosity issues at the end it's um you want to you want to kind of balance that canvas out so to speak fill in the potholes with a conditioning agent and then go in with the hair oil and that'll like sit on top of the hair. You don't want the oil to sit in the hair. You want it to sit on top of the hair and keep it moisturized and conditioned and silky. Okay. So when would be the most ideal time to apply hair serum? Uh, can you do it dry or should you do it like after the shower? You can do, you can do it either way. So you can use it as a refresher uh, midday, especially on like a, mm. like a, if there's like a rainy day or something like mm -hmm. that, or like where you just feel like you're like starting to, main out you know yeah but um yeah. my favorite way to use it is my leave-in conditioner and then putting it on my hair when my hair okay. is like semi-damp and then i and then i'll go in mm. and diffuse my hair okay yeah so so essentially you know you wash you condition then you leave in conditioned and then maybe when the hair's not wet but damp. it's like damp like i would say like 80 to 90 percent like yeah. towel dried because i mean if your hair yeah. is soaking wet water or, oil and water don't yeah. mix so you're throwing the hair yeah and it's just coming it's right out. it's literally just not sitting it, it'll just kind of pool into wherever it's mm. it's not so it's like you know like 80 to 90 percent dry you know like okay. you, you don't want to have it and it, it could just be towel dried. It doesn't need to be okay. like, and don't rough up your hair. Don't dry your hair like this. Like, right. Be, gen be nice be gentle, to your hair. Squeeze yeah. your hair, you know, squeeze it out. Uh, terry cloth, terry, um, what are they called? 
the mm. the terry fiber the microfiber ah, type yes. those towels they absorb they absorb a lot of water so if you do have really porous hair a way to know that you have really porous hair is that your hair takes forever to dry mm, right it tends to just water yeah. just sits in there and you're dripping even like an like you know like 20 minutes after the shower yeah i i actually keep a hair serum on my desk I know I'm cheating because I'm the warehouse manager and I literally have like 50,000 bottles next to me. But um, what I'll do sometimes is like, uh, I'll check if my hair just kind of feels like rough, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like I'm getting steel wool. Um, I'll just throw some hair serum in real quick. Yeah. It takes takes two minutes, right? Yeah. Um, one thing that I would say is a lot of guys, uh, and this is just like all hair care products in general, a lot of guys will just kind of glide the product over the surface, like the outer strands of their hair. But you got to remember your hair is, it's like a forest, like there's strands deep in there. Mm -hmm. So you really got to work it in all the way into the deep, the deep strands of your hair. So you use that paddle brush. Yeah. So, so I think I did a video. The, a what, is the, what is, what is the other brush? The, the, the continental, the, yes. the one that's the straightener. No, the other the one. Bo okay. The so boar bristle the, brush. The, the, that, main, the main hog, yeah. Yeah, the main hog. That's going to help um, get the product through okay. because it's a natural Great. fiber br bristle brush. Good so to it's going to help it's going to help get the oils from your scalp down into your uh -huh. the rest of your hair, but that's also going to work product into. Okay. So apply some hair serum, brush it in with the with the, mm -hmm. the main hog brush yep. and just really get it in there. Yep. Get all you're the strands. You're you're evenly distributing the product through it that way so it's, it doesn't have a chance to just clump up in one area. Perfect. That's yeah. really great advice. Yeah. Um, okay, so on to the next one. Uh, we have our own dry shampoo that we call Instant Freshies. Uh, so, you know, you don't have time to get a full wash in. Um, obviously, take a shower, okay, you animals. But uh, if you don't have time, <laughs> right, like sometimes, uh, like I'm currently doing the 75 hard challenge where I got to work out twice a day. Uh, and so sometimes I don't have time to like get a full shower or, or if I'm going to catch a quick shower, but I don't have time to wash my hair. So, um, the dry shampoo for me will help, you know, if I, if I'm starting to get a little oil buildup or whatever, I'll just throw a little dry shampoo in kind of, uh, it's, I mean, guys think about like you throw sand on an oil spill in your driveway. It's kind of the same thing. Um, and so it just gets a quick, you know, my hair doesn't look like an oil slick. I look presentable. I can go out real quick. If I got to go do something, I don't have time to wash my hair. Um, that's how I use it, mm -hmm. right? Um, so what would you recommend to a client who is having those types of issues as far, and if they're considering dry shampoo? I would tell them that to definitely give it a, ch give it a chance. Um, you still need to wash your hair, but Instant Freshies is going to help you. It's gonna, it's gonna help refresh the hair. So the way to use dry shampoo is definitely, um, ideally, use it at night before you go to bed like kind of brush it through the hair oh, because okay. you're everything is regenerating that's the okay yeah so, yeah so so it's it, everything regenerates at night so if you put it in at night it's going to have the time to absorb the oils use it at night use it at night brush wow. it through with that with the with the main hog uh -huh. and then put your hair make sure you got a satin pillowcase oh okay the satin pillowcase you never heard of the satin pillowcase i've i've seen people use them i've never used one myself you might slip a couple times as you get used to <laughs> head sliding everywhere, but um, okay. satin pillowcases actually maintain the moisture in your hair. So if you're using a cotton pillowcase and you have long hair and you're waking up with like extreme bedhead or like if you have really fine hair mm. and you get knotted and stuff like that, you actually will create more frizz because the, the cotton is sucking out the moisture from your hair. Okay. So... so Dry shampoo but before bed. Before bed, but Very you can also use it. You can, you can also use it, especially like this one. What I really like about this one is that it's it's not a spray like some of them. Right, ours is like, more of like a yeah. Like a so this is powder. so yeah. So you can you can pour it out right. into your hand. You can even um, okay. I know we're I know you guys long hair is here, but you just hear me out, okay? <laughs> Those. You know those fluffy makeup brushes, like the ones that you know for like blush and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Don't yeah, be afraid yeah. to go buy one of those because they're like a powder puff thing, right? Yeah, it's like a little powder brush. Like you can okay. actually like sh shake this in uh -huh. to like a little dish, right? And then do that, and then no, that's a great that, idea. That way, so you're not getting it because sometimes like when you pour it out like this, it, it like clumps together because it is kind of like that that fine powder. Yeah. So that will break it up, and you can kind of dust it onto your scalp. Okay. That's interesting. The way, the way I've been doing it is, um, I'll use, I will kind of get it in my hand. I will try to, I don't like to just go straight onto cause it's and just going to yeah. build up yeah, in one exactly. spot. So I like to kind of, um, good thing you have a clarifying shampoo now. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
So I like to kind of spread it on my hand and then pat it into my scalp. Mm -hmm. And then I take my brush and I try to spread it with the brush. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the powder puff is interesting. Um, but I, I think just in general, the modality is, is not, there's not one specific right or wrong way. No. I mean, there definitely are wrong ways to do it. But um, as long as your, your mindset is get it, spread it, just get it around the scalp, try to touch all the, the, the excess oil mm -hmm. at once. Um, don't just, you know, think about like what you're, your what you're like, if you like when you guys had short hair and you went to the barber and the barber would use the neck duster with the powder right. to get the hair off the body. It's kind yeah. of the same, the same concept. Uh -huh. So, but with like a, okay. like a, like a fluffy makeup. Brush. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and this is, this is a preferred, like I would say that use, use a powder like this over, yeah, so not the over, aerosol. Or, uh, over the aerosol, the aerosol, there's been a lot of controversy and linking drama. to, I love drama. Yeah, drama controversy again. <laughs> right. And so, um, there was actually, they were talking about how there's butane and stuff like that in mm. these. So it's that stuff is anything that you put, your skin is your biggest organ on your body. So anything you put on your body, including mm. your scalp is going to, it's going to get into your system in some way, you know, it's a topical right. application at that point. Right. right. So, build up over time, you know, it can cause issues, especially if you're somebody that doesn't want to wash your hair that often. You should definitely be washing your hair at least mm. once a week, guys. Yeah, At please. least once a week, not Everybody every day. Everybody around you will thank you. Ideally, every other, at the most, every other day, at the most, you should wash your hair. Okay. I wouldn't say, I would say two times a week is fine, unless you're like hardcore, like sweating and like, you know, in the beach and the sand and stuff like that. Yeah. You might want to wash a little bit more regularly, right but every other day is... That's the more, sweet spot. Yeah, that's the sweet spot. If you okay. if you're somebody that wants to have clean hair all the time, uh -huh. if you overstrip your hair, then now you're causing even more problems and porosity issues creep up. So the longer the okay. hair gets away from the scalp, the drier yeah. it's going to become. Uh -huh. So like that's where your leave-in conditioners, your hair serums come in hand. So perfect. Um, so what? Uh, now that we've covered our two products, what about just like general hair care tips? What do you? What are the things that you like? Common issues you see with guys coming into the shop, and you can tell that you know they haven't been like properly informed or educated on some of these things. Um, I see some guys come in with some some scalp buildup on their hair. They don't wash their hair often enough. That's so. That's why I mentioned at least washing your hair, mm. you know, at least once a week. At you know for sure. Okay. Um, but. I would say when it comes to men with long hair specifically, they don't get their hair trimmed often enough. Mm, and they get the split ends. You get the split ends. And yeah, what happens with split ends is that it just keeps splitting and then it's going to break off. Mm -hmm. And then the split is going to start again. So your hair is always growing, uh -huh. always growing. But if you're not seeing length, then that means that you're not getting your hair trimmed often enough. You know, like okay. you definitely need to trim the hair like regularly. And then you also need to... Um, make sure that you're using good products and, and conditioning and, and, and all that stuff. Okay. So, so how often would you say is a, a ideal amount of like, what is, what is the, the optimal frequency that a guy should be getting a trim? I would say at least every six months for long hair. But okay. if you're rough and tumble on your hair, you're out in the ocean, tumbling around right. surfing, stuff like that, or you're like out, you're Definitely would say at least every three months come in for like a dusting, okay. so to speak, like a, like what I call a split in trim. Yeah. It's like, and it's not like a full haircut. It's literally just kind of dusting the ends and we go through and we, you know, like I've done it on you where like I put the, and I come down and I get all those little yeah, hairs in yeah, between that's great. so that it's just a split in trim, right. you know, it's, okay. you book it online as a lineup just so you guys know that also includes your little undercuts the yeah little, the flyaways the, and the, 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 the side and stuff. yeah the little yeah. spit curls on the side here yeah. and all those hairs that reach terminal length that way so you can keep nice and clean yeah that's great i know um we actually get guys that'll say like oh you you know you guys say don't cut your hair but you know it's like well yeah we mean don't cut it off like you still want to be a long hair yeah. but you but know, you want to have healthy yeah, beautiful if you want to have the most healthy long hair you do have to semi-regularly get some uh, get the split ends trimmed off because Split ends are like a weed. They're just going to get worse. You you know, just like the <laughs> ones in your, your lawn that you keep pretending are going to go away. <laughs> if you if you keep the hair healthy, your lady's going to want to rub her hands through your hair too. Yeah. I'm guilty. Yeah. Of Same no. thing with your beards, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like just saying, you know, like, yeah. you know, keep it clean, keep it silky and you'll be pampered. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, plus I, you know, thankfully I found 
a barbershop that I absolutely love. I love just being there. I love the whole experience. Um, and so it's great. I love, um, I know some guys are more of a, like the DIY type when it comes to trims, but me personally, I'm a dingus. Okay. I'm a gorilla. I'm going to ruin, I'm, I'm, I'm five years in on growing this hair out. So I am not taking any chances. Okay. And I love, you know, I, I go to an actual master barber that can get me dialed in and I mm -hmm. leave and I feel like a million bucks. And the thing is if you get split ends and you don't cut them off regularly, it, you're going to end up having to cut more off yes. to get it healthy again. So, yeah, so, so I, it's I, just better just to get it, you know, it's kind of like maintenance, you know, keeping, yeah. keeping, doing the upkeep, you know, if you have a leak in, in your house, you're not going to be like, okay, I'm going to fix the leak, but I'm not, you, you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take care of the problem, find the source, the, the yeah. real source. I will personally attest to that. Um, I did not cut when I, from the time that I started cutting my hair to, or excuse me, from the time I, st I stopped cutting my hair and just let it grow. Uh, to the time that I got my first trim, I think was like two years mm -hmm. or something like that. And um, I finally got a trim and they're like, dude, sorry to break it to you, but we got to cut like four inches off because yeah. this it's all dead and it's just going to keep getting worse. And the, the thing bottom. is, for those of you that are growing your hair out too, there is a way to avoid that. You have a little less awkward grow out phase and that's going to a barber and getting it shaped as it grows out. You don't want to just... Mm, that's a great tip, yeah. actually. You definitely want to get... There is a way to grow out your hair from short hair and it's usually you yeah. do have to keep the bottom a little bit shorter while the top grows out first. Right. So getting that shaped and having a good barber that's going to explain that to you. Anyone at Lion's Mane can help you. Um, but that's how I tell the clients. I'm like, come in, get it shaped. And then as it grows out, it's going to grow into a nice shape instead of just all of a sudden you have like this. Right, right. What, what, the, like the shaggy bob, like, you know, yeah. like it's on your shoulders and it's flipping out and your hair like on the sides is only up to here, you know? Yeah, that's let's, great let's, advice. Let's start with the Johnny Depp moving into the yeah. Brad, Bradley Cooper and then, <laughs> then into John Wick. Okay. Yeah, then, and then into Jason Momoa. Yes, and then Jason Momoa, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. The, that's Jason, the final yeah. boss. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. All righty, well, thank you very much for yeah, coming in. Absolutely, thanks um, for having so me. I'm so glad we did this, and it's really important that we're able to offer real-life expert advice to our viewers. Um, uh, if you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will make sure that Shelby will answer those questions for you. Um, and thanks for stopping by another episode of the main cave. All right, boys. I'm out. See you.